guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Walker Ford in super sunny Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? We are to the next step in the hunt, in the journey of getting behind the wheel and driving on throttle in a new Ford Bronco. We have it here. This is a 2021 Ford Bronco. This is the big Bronco that you've been waiting for. And this particular one is an Outer Banks trim. But before we dive in, to the return of this mighty nameplate, let's talk about what's going on here. The Bronco. It's been around since 1966. That was the first year that this vehicle was hitting the off-road trails, going rock climbing and everything else in between, and of course, hitting the urban asphalt jungle. Now, the Bronco went away in 1996. It was replaced by the Expedition. Many people have been craving for the return of this horse to the stable. And you know what? Ford, it's taken them some steps. It's taken them some time. Many people have been getting, you know, very anxious, have been getting maybe annoyed about this process, but it's here finally. And I really think that this is the Bronco really to bring us through the 21st century. We've already brought to you here from Walker Ford, the Bronco Sport, that's the baby Bronco. Remember, that's nothing new to the game. Ford had a Bronco II once upon a time, which was that smaller Bronco in the 1980s. But this truly is the one that you've been waiting for. Now, just like the baby Bronco, 4x4 is the name of the game. So 4x4 comes standard. You're going to have two engine choices, a plethora. I'm talking about like an all-you-can-eat option buffet of different trims, different wheels, different transmissions, different engines on this Bronco. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into the one that we have here. This is a pre-production. Ford is allowing us access outside, inside, and all in between this Bronco. Let's find out, is the Outer Banks, is this the Bronco you've been waiting for? And is this the vehicle that's going to demolish the mighty Jeep Wrangler? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, the proportions, the styling. Ford did that retro theme that they're so good at. Think about it. Think about what Ford has brought to the table that's been retro themed from the Mustang GT back in 2005 to the Ford GT in 2005 and 2006. This Bronco has that 1966 feel. Now remember, you could get your Bronco two doors or four doors. We have a four door option. Starting at the front of the business, you're gonna get that nice twist of styling with the classic feel. So you're gonna have LED daytime running lamps, you could see on our Outer Banks, we have LED headlights, and I love the way they take the lighting and bring it into the grill. There's even a small little Bronco all the way inside there. Lots of Easter eggs. If you like, if you like Easter bunnies and you like to maybe dye some eggs, you're going to love this Bronco because there's tons of Easter eggs all over this vehicle. Now, there is a little bit of gloss black, and it's going to be interesting to see how people, you know, like that overall, especially those who are going to be doing some serious off-roading. Sitting here at Walker Ford, it looks great. Now, as we come across the front on the Outer Banks, you're going to get nice steel bumpers. You do have your brush guard, and I think this is the Zonk many of you have actually been putting in the comment section. The brush bar actually blocks the Bronco name. Such a beautiful name. The font, even the way that they went white with it, really makes it pop from the gloss black. But it is interesting how they blacked it with this brush bar, and you do have a forward-facing camera. Now, what Ford says is that in the actual production version, this is gonna be changed a little bit, that they're actually gonna bring it down. But I like that classic grill design with the forward-facing camera. As we drop down, you got nice, meaty tow hooks. You're gonna be able to pull those Jeep Wranglers out of the mud, out of the sand traps, and then you do have functionality here in the center, and then underneath, you hear that? Knock, knock, who's that? I just hurt my knuckle because you got steel plates underneath the vehicle, those skid plates to protect the inner bits as you're doing your off-roading, going all through the, maybe you're going through Moab and Hell's Revenge. You could do it in this Bronco. Now going up onto the hood, that classic retro theme. Look at the nice slight bend here and then the way it meets with the grill. I like the way they have the addition of the two rises here. And if you want to bulge, Guess what? You can have the double B, Bronco with a bulge. You got a nice size bulge here because underneath the hood, we have a little bit more power because we have the V6 EcoBoost. So you get your bulge and you get some extra power to go with it. As we come around the bend on this Outer Banks. Now, like I was saying, you're gonna have 
different wheel options. On this particular one, you're looking at this beautiful machined aluminum, this 18-inch wheel. You can get a 17-inch beadlock off-road wheel. This setup is more for the quote-unquote street setup, but remember, you do have the 4x4 standard across all the trims. I love the classic way that they did the Bronco badge. I think that was super smart. Nice little intricate design there, but with the gloss black, the machined aluminum. If you're wondering, Joe, what's the size of this? You're looking at 255 on the width and a nice meaty 70 series sidewall. You can see great amount of space between the top of the tire inside the fender. And look, you can see your upper control arms. I'm going to have Lori kind of zoom on in and show off all that beautiful suspension work that they've done. And on the outer banks, you have a nice painted flared fender instead of plastic. I really love the color match that's going on here right to a T. Now, as we go down the side, you're gonna get those really cool side badges. It's almost like a badge of honor. It lets you know exactly what trim you're looking at and what direction somebody was going with their particular Bronco. It's sort of like being back in the Boy Scouts and you would get all your different patches. So a nice little touch. We're gonna have color match on the mirror caps. You do have 360 degree cameras, nice Bronco, on the running board, and this is a stationary running board that's specific to the Bronco and the Outer Banks. We're gonna have color match on the mirror caps. Our particular one has a soft top, but of course, you could go hard top. Sort of like going to your favorite taco shop. You get soft shell or hard shell. This has the removable canvas top, but you can get that hard top. I like the way they just kept it flat black, color matched on those door handles, and then once again, that beautiful fender flare going on and as we come around the back this is where the Bronco kind of has that signature design you can see I'm six feet tall the height of this Bronco you have the LED taillights with the B there that was actually this design is actually done on purpose nice touch of course you're gonna have your handle to swing open the back we have our rear mounted wheel and tire that spare full size of course and then look at that a nice chrome Bronco badge there, looking good. We drop down, what do we got? We got some plastic cover over this rear bumper. You do have full towing capability with your Bronco, but why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Bronco. All right, guys, we got the hood propped. I am gonna have to zonk it. There is a prop rod. I know many people are like, why do you care if there's hydraulic hood struts? Those are just gonna go bad. Well, guess what? Your tires are also gonna wear out as well and replace those. It just, I don't know, it would kind of be nice just to have the hydraulic hood struts just to open up the hood. But underneath our hood with that bulge is that extra power that I promised you. Now, what are we looking at underneath the hood? We're looking at that 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. So when we say EcoBoost in Ford talk, that means there's some turbochargers involved. So you're looking at twin turbos, 310 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to one transmission only if you go that route, and that's a 10-speed automatic. It is a little bit of a zonk there not to offer the seven-speed manual, which is available if you go with the smaller engine. Like I had mentioned, you could tow up to 3,500 pounds. You got that two-speed transfer case, the Dana 44 solid rear axles, an electron electronic limited slip diff, and a totally revamped brand new five link rear suspension at the tail end of the business to get through just about anything. But while we go ahead, we talked about the engine, we talked about that extra power. Let's finally get inside the new Bronco and see what it has to offer. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Bronco Outer Banks. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, I've been looking for a Bronco. I want a Bronco. I don't want to go the Jeep route. How much is this one? So MSRP for an Outer Banks full-size Bronco, you're looking right around $38,000. Obviously, you add up the options, that's gonna raise the price, but let's see what you get for the money at that starting point to the door panels. Remember, everything is removable. So that door comes off, one, two, three. I like the soft touch material. Even they did soft touch on the armrest, a little bit of gunmetal gray there, and then you have that cargo net that's gonna be perfect for those off-road style Twinkies. You could easily put five Twinkies in that little cargo net area. Now, when you go from the door panel to the dash, look at the design. You see the B in the shape of the air vents. I like the way they have the O crap handle for your passenger over there. The Bronco name stamped in there with that gunmetal gray finish. Hard plastic up top. 
but they did that on purpose to keep it clean. And if you compare it to a Jeep Wrangler, you're looking at the same setup. You do actually have a power source at the top, a USB and a USB-C, which is a very nice smart location for that. And then you'll notice that you have these toggle switches real here, right here to lock out your diff, shut off your traction control, and a little place for some atomic fireballs. Now, when we drop down, we have the optional 12 inch SYNC 4 infotainment system. We can't fire this up because it is a pre-production. There's gonna be some changes, but you're looking at wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, the 360 cams and everything in between. We have our start stop button. Love the font, just like the name Bronco. Really, really nice, easy to get to. I like this texture material. Not a lot of gloss black, which is great. You have your radio controls, your AC, which you have your dual climate, which is wonderful. And then you drop your way down, you have a nice little cubby. You can literally put a two pound bag of Skittles down here, just dump them in there, taste the rainbow, see the rainbow. Right now I'm feeling the heat and the rainbow. USB-C, USB, nice little number plate there with the VIN on it. Let everybody know they got something extra special. And then this is gonna control the 10 speed automatic. Love the way they went Bronco style there. Really nice design. You have your GOAT modes, go over anything terrain, uh, any terrain, really nice setup, too high, four high, four low. You just twist that to go into the modes. This is a little interesting with the switch gear for the windows, a little on the cheap side, but I understand why they mounted it here since the door panels can come off. You have your controls for your mirrors. Actually pretty soft on the armrest. Lift this up and then you got a nice pistachio tray, a place to put some rocks as you're climbing over them in Moab. And then seats, love the leather material, the Bronco badge, the color looks fantastic. And then guess what? You have electric assist on the outer banks for the passenger and the driver. But speaking of the driver, come on over to the business end and I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Bronco. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. Tons of headroom, obviously all this is gonna come off. You have your seat controls that are very, very easy to get to. And then the steering wheel, nice thick leather wrap with the Bronco badge, look. You can see the screen we had lit up a little bit there for a split second as I opened up the door. So you have that massive digital display, obviously the infotainment system. But the great news is this is not a two-door version. This is actually a four-door version. So I'm going to slide on out and allow you to see how it is to get into the back. We got a nice handle there. The seat can move forward. It's a little cramped because the seat was pushed back, but I have USBs and a 12 volt here and a center armrest, which is great. I'm actually gonna slide all the way over so Lori can show off the back. We have our pockets there, put a couple back scratchers back there. Then look, look at all the connectivity. USB-Cs, USBs, home power source. You got your window controls inboard. And then look what we have, the world's smallest armrest. Not really gonna put your arm on this because there's no place to put it, but you do have two cup holders and you have that two-tone material. But why don't we get to the cargo area and see how much you could haul in the new Bronco. All right guys, time to get into the cargo area. I love the way it has the handle right there. You swing it open. The only downside to this is that if you're parallel parking, it's gonna be impossible for you to open up the back gate area. But you could see with the canvas top in place, how much room that you have. Very, very tall, could easily get a couple mountain bikes in there, road bikes, even a couple kayaks, but you'll see that you have your 12 volt nicely located for that camping, for the tailgating. You have your interior rear light. We have the official Bronco cargo mats and floor mats at all weather protection. And that's the great thing about this particular Bronco series is there's gonna be over 200 different ways that officially Ford wants you to personalize your Bronco. Of course, there'll be other companies that come along the way to allow you to really make your Bronco yours. But you know what? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and wrap up this Bronco review. All right, guys, it's been another great day here at Walker Ford. I definitely got to thank Frank Walker, Weston Walker, Tracy, Austin, Mark, the whole crew, and the Ford representatives that came with this Ford Bronco. It's been a long time coming, but I really think Ford has basically built a Bronco for everybody, and this vehicle is definitely a competitor to the Jeep Wrangler. It's gonna be interesting to see how that battle turns out, but the great news is us as the consumers as the, and the enthusiasts are gonna be the real winners. But if you wanna keep seeing the Bronco here from Walker Ford on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, 
Click the first link in the description, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to the queen of the camera. She woke up extra early, got out here, and we banged out this Bronco just for you. So thank you, Lori, for all that you do. Show her some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.